guys happy thursday it's currently thursday night i am finally on spring break so that's a good sign i finished all my midterms today so i'm actually about to pack to go to florida because i'm going there to meet someone so exciting it's gonna be amazing but before i go to florida i'm actually going to be preparing for it so the first thing is going to be cleaning my room so as you can see because of midterms week my room has become a complete wreck i'm actually going to wash my sheets and everything because I like to come home to like a clean space. So yeah, let's go do that. Okay, so my stuff is still downstairs drying. It's taking a while because it's like a big comfort sheet. But anyways, in the meantime, while I was waiting for my sheets to dry, I was reading this book. If you guys were wondering, it's called It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And if you've been on TikTok, you know that this is the book that is going around. So far, I'm like halfway through the book. It's really, really good. I'm gonna do like a deep review after I finish, but it's really good. It's really addicting. I am not a big reader, but this book has kept me hooked in and I just keep wanting to go and go and go. But anyways, here's the situation on my bed. I actually decided that I'm not gonna wait for my sheets to dry and I'm gonna put on like another sheet, like another comforter. I have two comforters. So yeah, let's make my bed. Okay, so that was really quick, but my bed is made now and I feel like so much better knowing that I'm gonna be coming home to a very clean space. So for the rest of the night, I think I'm just gonna keep reading my book and then I have a really productive and like early morning tomorrow. My mom and I are actually volunteering at my brother's high school for his track thing with a bunch of other parents. So I'm gonna come along, help set up and whatever. And then I also have to pack, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. It's the next day. This morning I woke up really, really early and I didn't vlog any of the breakfast, but I went to my brother's senior track meet breakfast and me and my mom volunteered there, so that was super fun. Then I came home and I actually just went back to sleep because it was so early. Like literally we woke up at like five and then we got there at like seven and we've just been volunteering since. But now I'm actually about to wash my hair and just get it ready for the week so that I don't have to wash it later because it literally is so greasy and so gross right now. So I finished washing my hair. It feels and looks so good. I feel like it's so nice to like have a fresh head of hair after a long week. I pulled out my suitcase and I'm actually about to start packing. I only have room for like a little carry-on and a backpack and this is literally how much space I have. So hopefully I can fit everything in here, but we're gonna start packing. So I'm almost finished packing. It was actually pretty quick and easier than I thought it would be But I wanted to show you guys what I had so far. So over here I have like a bunch of t-shirts and just like comfy wear I guess and then I have like two dress t-shirts in case we go somewhere and then I have two crew necks right here I just folded them really neatly so they would fit in there and then I have some Nike shorts in the corner and Then I have some leggings over here and then a few pair of jeans in case we go out or something and then up here i have my bathing suit and then this is like my underwear and stuff so no one wants to see that but um then i also have like a face towel up here and yeah that's pretty much it and then i also have my bag of like toiletries and stuff like q-tips yeah that's pretty much it for packing it was pretty simple and light and the place i'm going my friend has all of the stuff there so that's super convenient so i don't have to like pack everything if that makes sense but i'm gonna take a little break and then i'll see you guys when i pack my carry-on 
Hey guys, so it's currently March 15th and you know, I finished packing and everything and I was ready to go on my spring break trip like a happy student would be when they are on spring break and literally if you look outside, it's a beautiful day. But instead, I'm stuck inside because I ended up catching a little virus and it's not the coronavirus or anything I just ended up catching a little stomach bug I have literally been sitting here recovering over the past two to three days and you know honestly it kind of sucks but yeah i'm feeling a lot better today yesterday was really really bad so i didn't even pick up the camera but i just wanted to update you guys honestly i'm kind of disappointed but i'm actually kind of glad that i ended up being sick over break rather than like during my school because that would have been hard to manage but hopefully I get better and then I actually rescheduled the trip because Delta was really really nice enough to actually let me reschedule the trip so shout out to Delta but yeah I really don't have any plans for like the next couple days besides just resting and recovering but I'll keep you guys updated on how the rest of my spring break goes hi guys and good morning happy Thursday I'm actually out right now this is the first day that I've gotten ready since me you know catching the stomach bug I feel a lot better today and today is my brother's swim banquet so me and my mom are going to get the catering supplies because we're gonna be hosting <laughs> We got everything that we needed for the party. So now we're gonna go and set up. I almost forgot, but we have to go grab the Chick-fil-A catering too. Time for volunteering. We're hanging up the signs at the senior place at my school. Okay, we're in the process of hanging them up and they look so good. All right, it's party time. We have all the stuff. Hey, say hi, Josh. Hello. <laughs> so let's go. All right, guys, so the party was a success. It was so fun. Um, congrats to all the swimmers at Landmark this year. Anyways, my mom and I stopped by Target after. I just wanted to do a little Target haul for you guys because I love Target hauls. So the first thing that I got is this coffee. This coffee is the organic Sumatra Mandelhing. I think that's how you say it, medium roast. This is like organic coffee. And literally, I love coffee. And this is even better than Starbucks coffee, in my opinion, when you like brew it. But it's so good. I love it so much. And Target. I think is the only place that sells it so it's really really yummy and I just wanted to grab a bag the next thing that I got at Target was a candle I was not supposed to get this but I kept walking around the aisles and you know what happens when you walk around the aisles I came in to get only the coffee and then I was like I have to get this as well I always end up getting more stuff than I need at Target this is the scent waterfall it smells so good it was only $9.99 then I also got this shirt right here this is a cute little long sleeve shirt it says be kind with a smiley face and I love tie-dye detail. It's orange, green, it's super cute. My mom actually picked this out for me. So I'm super happy because I really, really like the design. And the last thing, I actually was about to get it in store, but then I saw a little stain on it and I was like, I want to order this instead. I'll put a picture on the screen. But it's this little green purse. It's so cute and I can't wait to wear it. But anyways, that's my little Target haul. I guess I will see you guys at home. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here editing this video and of course I did not end it. So I think I'm going to end it here here i hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it completely turned out different than i thought it would but i hope you guys ended up being inspired as well by this video just because the week or the day doesn't start how you want it to doesn't mean it's going to stay about a week and i feel like what this week has taught me is that you can't let your circumstances control the outcome essentially if you just have the will and the motive to push past your circumstances and really change your perspective you can essentially make any day a really good day and i'm really grateful and thankful for all the prayers and you guys' dms just asking me how i felt and i'm really thankful that you know i feel a lot better now and the week ended up really really good but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to drop a big thumbs up and subscribe it really means a lot and i would really really appreciate it thank you so much for watching i love
love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.